Welcome. Tonight I will tell you a story about the haunting of Ravenwood Hotel. This is a story of fiction. Or is it? As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the desolate countryside, Sarah Wilson pulled her car into the gravel driveway of Ravenwood Hotel. The once grand establishment now stood as a decrepit relic of its former glory. Its weathered exterior and broken windows hinted at the secrets that lay within. Sarah had always been drawn to the paranormal, and her passion for investigating haunted locations had brought her to this infamous hotel. She was determined to uncover the truth behind the countless rumors and tales of ghostly encounters that swirled around Ravenwood. With her camera bag slung over her shoulder, Sarah stepped out of the car and approached the imposing entrance. The air grew colder as she crossed the threshold, as if the hotel itself welcomed her with a chilling embrace. The creaking floorboards echoed beneath Sarah's feet as she ventured further into the dimly lit lobby. A sense of foreboding hung in the air, and she couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. The walls seemed to whisper ancient secrets, urging her to uncover their hidden truths. As she entered the grand ballroom, Sarah's breath caught in her throat. Tattered drapes hung from the ceiling, swaying eerily in an unfelt breeze. Dust-covered chandeliers cast ghostly shadows on the faded wallpaper, and a long-abandoned piano sat in the corner, its keys seemingly beckoning her to play a mournful melody. But it was the portraits lining the walls that truly captivated Sarah. The eyes of the long-deceased hotel guests seemed to follow her every move, their faces frozen in eternal despair. Nightfall descended, and Sarah found herself standing outside room 307, notorious for its paranormal activity. With trembling hands, she pushed open the door and entered the dimly lit chamber. The air grew heavy with an oppressive energy, making it hard to breathe. Suddenly, a chilling gust of wind extinguished the lone candle she had brought, plunging the room into darkness. Panic set in, she fumbled for a flashlight, but before she could find it, a disembodied voice whispered in her ear, Get out. Startled, Sarah stumbled backward, feeling a cold presence brush against her skin. The room seemed to come alive with unseen entities, their ethereal forms dancing in the shadows. Determined to uncover the hotel's dark past, Sarah delved into the history of Ravenwood. She discovered that it was once a sanctuary for the wealthy elite, but tragedy struck when a fire consumed the building, claiming numerous lives. Rumors circulated of a vengeful spirit seeking retribution for the lives lost. Armed with this knowledge, Sarah enlisted the help of a local historian, Mr. Jameson, who revealed a long-forgotten secret. Beneath the hotel lay a hidden chamber, where the spirit of a scorned lover was said to reside. With Mr. Jameson's guidance, Sarah descended into the depths of Ravenwood Hotel, venturing into the secret chamber. The air grew thick with a sense of impending doom as they made their way through narrow, winding corridors. And at last they reached a heavy, ornate door that guarded the entrance to the chamber. With trembling hands, Sarah pushed it open, revealing a macabre scene. The walls were adorned with symbols and markings, and in the center of the room stood an ancient, decrepit coffin. As they approached, the atmosphere grew colder and whispers filled the air. The spirit of the scorned lover materialized before them, her eyes filled with a mixture of sadness and anger. She was trapped in this realm, unable to move on until justice was served. Driven by empathy, Sarah spoke softly, acknowledging the pain the spirit had endured. She promised to uncover the truth behind her tragic fate and bring her story to light. Together, Sarah and Mr. Jameson embarked on a quest to delve deeper into the hotel's history, searching for any evidence that could shed light on the spirit's past. They unearthed forgotten diaries and journals, piecing together the story of a forbidden love affair that had led to betrayal and a violent demise. Armed with the truth, Sarah returned to the spirit, presenting the evidence of her tragic past. 
The spirit's eyes softened, her ethereal form glowing faintly. With a final sigh, she slowly dissipated, her spirit finding peace at last. News of Sarah's courageous investigation spread, and Ravenwood Hotel became a symbol of triumph over darkness. Paranormal enthusiasts flocked to the site, eager to experience the lingering energy for themselves. Sarah's journey at Ravenwood had not only revealed the truth behind the haunting, but also brought closure to the tormented spirit. Her story became the subject of books and documentaries, solidifying her place in paranormal history. Ravenwood Hotel, once shunned and abandoned, began a new chapter. It was renovated, restored to its former glory, and reopened as a haunted attraction. Visitors from far and wide came to experience the thrill and mystery that now surrounded the hotel. As for Sarah, she continued her pursuit of the supernatural, traveling to other haunted locations, sharing her experiences through her YouTube channel and inspiring others to embrace the unknown. The haunting of Ravenwood Hotel had come to an end, but its legacy would forever linger in the hearts of those who dared to uncover its secrets. Years had passed since Sarah's encounter at Ravenwood Hotel, but the memory of that fateful investigation still haunted her. She had become a renowned paranormal investigator, traveling the world to explore the most haunted places, yet the allure of Ravenwood continued to call to her. One stormy evening, as Sarah sat in her office reviewing footage from her latest expedition, a package arrived. Inside was a worn, leather-bound journal. Its pages were yellowed with age, and the cover bore the inscription, Ravenwood Hotel. Secrets unveiled. Curiosity gripped Sarah as she opened the journal. The entries chronicled the experiences of a previous investigator who had delved into the mysteries of Ravenwood. As she read, Sarah's heart raced with anticipation, feeling as though fate had once again brought her back to the enigmatic hotel. Determined to uncover any lingering secrets, Sarah packed her equipment and headed back to Ravenwood. The hotel stood before her as foreboding as ever, its silhouette a stark contrast against the stormy sky. She couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and trepidation. Entering the hotel's grand foyer, Sarah was greeted by an eerie silence. The echoes of her footsteps reverberated through the empty halls as she made her way towards the room where her investigation had begun years ago. The familiar creaking of the staircase led her to the upper floors. As she ascended, she sensed a presence a lingering energy that seemed to watch her every move. Shadows danced on the walls, their forms shifting and contorting in the dim light. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest as she reached the door of the room where the secret chamber lay. With a deep breath, she turned the handle and stepped inside. The chamber awaited her, unchanged since her last visit. The coffin still stood in the center, a haunting reminder of the past. As Sarah set up her equipment, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. Whispers filled the room, barely audible yet unmistakable. They spoke of forgotten secrets and unspeakable horrors. The investigation began, and Sarah's senses heightened. She captured unexplained phenomena on camera, eerie voices on audio recordings, and felt cold gusts of air brush against her skin. The hotel seemed to come alive, its walls whispering tales of tragedy and despair. Late into the night, Sarah found herself standing before the ancient coffin. Something drew her closer, an invisible force that compelled her to touch it. As her fingers grazed the weathered wood, a jolt of energy surged through her body. Visions flashed before her eyes, scenes of a dark ritual a sacrificial offering to unseen entities. The spirits of the departed moaned in anguish, trapped in an eternal torment. Sarah gasped, realizing that the haunting of Ravenwood ran deeper than she could have ever imagined. Determined to bring peace to the restless souls, Sarah sought answers beyond the confines of the hotel. She delved into local archives searching for records of the dark history that shrouded Ravenwood. 
Old newspaper clippings hinted at a series of unsolved disappearances and bizarre occurrences during the hotel's heyday. One name stood out, a notorious occultist known as Malachi Blackwood, who had been rumored to perform sinister rituals within Ravenwood's walls. Legend had it that he had made a pact with dark forces, trading innocent lives for power and immortality. Sarah's investigation took her to forgotten catacombs beneath the hotel, where she discovered an altar adorned with arcane symbols. The room reeked of decay and malevolence, and she could sense the presence of a malevolent entity lurking nearby. Armed with her knowledge and determination, Sarah braved the depths of the catacombs, her flashlight illuminating the path before her. The air grew heavy with anticipation as she ventured deeper into the darkness. Strange symbols adorned the walls, and the flickering light cast eerie shadows, distorting their shapes. A distant whisper reached Sarah's ears, growing louder with each step. It called to her, a seductive voice promising forbidden knowledge and power. She knew she was on the verge of uncovering the truth, but she also sensed the danger that awaited her. Pushing forward, Sarah reached a chamber bathed in an otherworldly glow. In the center stood an ancient tome, bound in human skin and etched with intricate sigils. The whispers intensified, urging her to approach and unlock its secrets. Compelled by a mixture of curiosity and a desire to bring an end to the hotel's haunting, Sarah cautiously reached out and touched the forbidden book. A surge of energy coursed through her, causing her entire body to tremble. The room quaked, and the very air seemed to vibrate with an invisible force. As the tremors subsided, Sarah felt a profound connection to the spirits trapped within Ravenwood. Their voices filled her mind, their stories of despair and longing echoing through her consciousness. She realized that their salvation lay in severing the link between the hotel and the malevolent forces that held it captive. With newfound determination, Sarah recited an incantation she had discovered in her research. The words resonated through the chamber, their power reverberating in the air. The symbols on the walls glowed, their luminescence intertwined with Sarah's energy. In a blinding flash, the chamber transformed. The darkness gave way to a blinding light, and Sarah found herself standing in a pristine ethereal realm. The spirits materialized around her, their faces filled with gratitude and relief, but the tranquility was short-lived. A shadowy figure emerged from the depths, Malachi Blackwood himself. His eyes glowed with malevolence, and an aura of darkness enveloped him. He sneered at Sarah, revealing a mouth filled with sharp, jagged teeth. You dare interfere with my dominion? Malachi's voice boomed a guttural growl that sent shivers down Sarah's spine. You will pay for your insolence. Sarah stood her ground, summoning every ounce of courage she possessed. She knew that she couldn't let Malachi continue his reign of terror. Drawing upon the spirit's energy, she channeled it into a powerful burst, aiming it directly at him. A titanic clash ensued as Sarah's pure determination clashed with Malachi's dark power. The realm trembled with the intensity of their battle. Sarah fought with unwavering resolve, pushing back against the malevolent entity that had plagued Ravenwood for centuries. With one final surge of energy, Sarah unleashed a burst of blinding light. Malachi let out an agonizing scream, his form dissolving into a swirling vortex of darkness. The spirits cried out in triumph as they were released from their eternal torment. As the ethereal realm faded away, Sarah found herself back in the catacombs of Ravenwood. The oppressive atmosphere lifted, replaced by a sense of peace and resolution. The haunting had finally come to an end. Emerging from the depths, Sarah returned to the hotel's main hall where dawn was breaking on the horizon. The once the cursed building now exuded an air of tranquility. It was a new beginning, a fresh start for Ravenwood Hotel. News of Sarah's triumph spread, and the hotel regained its former glory. Guests once again flocked to its doors, 
unaware of the dark history that had plagued it. But deep within the hearts of those who had witnessed the horrors of Ravenwood, Sarah's bravery and determination would be forever remembered. As for Sarah, she continued her work as a paranormal investigator, sharing her experiences and knowledge with the world. Ravenwood had taught her the power of confronting one's fears, and she vowed to help others find solace and closure in the face of the unknown. And so, the haunted hotel became a beacon of hope, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who dared to face the shadows. The secrets of Ravenwood were unveiled, its ghosts laid to rest, and Sarah's legacy as a fearless investigator of the paranormal grew, ensuring that no mystery would remain unsolved. I hope that you enjoyed this short story. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would like to gather together a community that enjoys the weird and scary. See you in the next one.